Um, I just wanted to send you a quick video. I'm really sorry um, that I haven't got round to sending you a video a bit sooner. Um, I have been trying to get to grips with it all. Um, I will get better, I promise. Um, so, I'm going to post for you later the answers for your comprehension questions uh, for Pompeii and also for your King Arthur uh, reading comprehension that you have got scheduled for today. Um, you've also got a really nice video to watch called The Piano and Mrs Faircross loves this video. So please do send me photos of your writing because I'd love to see it. Um, you've got some spellings on homophones and um, I also just wanted to go through um, square and cube numbers because I know you've got that to do today. So I just wanted to give you a couple of examples and a couple of key points. So when a number is squared, so for example if we have 5 squared, we've done this before and we use the cubes to make the numbers that are squares and we know that squares have got uh, sides that are the same length. So when we have a number that is 5 squared, Lots of us think that might mean 5 times 2, but actually, hopefully, you can all remember that it means we are timesing the number by itself. Um, so we would have 5 by 5. Um, now, when we cube a number, uh, we know that with a cube it has the same length, width and height. So when we have a number like 5 cubed, Again, it might be easy to think it's 5 times by 3, but actually uh, we need to remember that we're timesing a number by itself and by itself again. So hopefully we can start to notice that when we have 5 cubed, we have 3 fives, which is why we have the number 3. And then when we have uh, 5 squared, we have 2 fives. So again, that's why we have the little number 2. Um, when we do this, we know how to multiply numbers together. It can get slightly trickier when we get to something like this. So we know when we multiply numbers, we can multiply them in any order. It doesn't matter. Um, so we can start with 5 times 5. Now, I know that 5 times 5 is 25. Now I've got to do my 25 times by 5. That's when it starts to get a bit trickier. So um, hopefully we can remember how to times a two-digit number by a one-digit number. Now, I know that 5 times 5 is, um, let's do it the long way, I think that's a bit easier. 5 times 5 is 25, and 5 times 20, well, 5 times 2 is 10, so 5 times 20 must be 100. Now, when I add those numbers together, I know I've got 125. Um, Hopefully, that just gives you a bit of a recap. It is a real whistle-stop tour um, of just reminding us on those square numbers and those cube numbers. Um, if you've got any questions at all, just pop me a message and I'll try and get back to you as quickly as I can. Um, and then I'll have a look next week at what we've got lined up for you and see if there's anything else that I might be able to help you with. Um, I hope that helps everyone. Um, you're doing really, really well. Keep up the good work. Have a lovely weekend. Bye, everyone.